from Severin. It is Beyond the Darkness, or Beyond Darkness, I should say, just Beyond Darkness. This is one that I'm pretty sure was released by Screen Factory on a double feature. I'm pretty sure if I looked over there long enough, I would find this release. But we're not going to do that today. We're just going to cover what Severin released here. And while the extras are a little bit light on this, uh, Beyond Possession interview with the director, The Devil and Mrs. Drudy, interview with the uh, co-writer, Sign of the Cross, interview with the actor, and of course, the trailer. The main thing you get with this is a bonus soundtrack. And Severin does that a lot. So the movie is like this. The movie starts off with a priest. He's coming to read this crazy woman who has murdered all these kids in his mind. Uh, her last rites before she's put to the electric chair. And then she it confesses to him that she's none other than like basically a demon or possessed by a demon. And she holds the souls to all these kids. So he kind of goes on his mission to free these kids. Although it's a very long drawn out mission that consists of him succumbing to alcoholism in the process. Uh, meanwhile, this whole family is led by the church to move into this house, and it just so happens to be the house that all this bad stuff has basically been transpiring. So before he loses his kids and his family, he has to basically team up with the uh, the, the drunk preacher and try to exorcise all the demons out of the house. So it's very nightmarish in in some regard. It's it's it, I believe it's Italian. It has to be Italian. It feels very Italian. And if you've seen any Italian horror films, you know what I'm talking about. It just has that Italian feel. It uh, says it's directed by Clyde Anderson, if that is his real name. But uh, it says right here as well, I believe it's actually the director of Troll 2. So <laughs> that may explain a whole lot of things there. But it's not terrible. It's very, like I said, very dreamlike. There's some spooky scenes. There's some good little effects here and there. The, the, the This woman here is extremely creepy. Uh, there's a thing like when the kids go into a house, there's like a hole in the wall. It's like where the bad stuff comes from, or at least it's kind of like the origin for some of the bad stuff going on. And it's very creepy. You actually come to think of it, I believe the kid in this movie might be the kid from Troll 2. So it's definitely got the uh, the vibe of that. It could be so bad it's good to some people. But I found it entertaining enough, and it's it kind of drags out there to the end where you're really not sure how things are going to go. And... Uh, that's kind of good. Like, I think it, if people want to compare it to Troll 2 because it has, like, the same director, writer, or whatever it is, it's not that bad. It's uh, it's way well done better than that, to be completely honest with you. But it may be a hit or a miss thing for a lot of people. I liked it enough. I'd give it a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, would recommend, especially if you like this goofier haunted house stuff. The only thing that always bothers me about, like, possessed house, haunted houses type things is and it, and you learn what exactly is going on, but the premise is it's like a exorcism type thing. Uh, there's really no rules in haunted house movies. It's like, you know, when you got Jason or Freddy or one of those guys, it's like, well, you know, you can't really stop them, but you got to figure out how to temporarily stop them. You get zombie movies, you know, you shoot them in the head. A haunted house, it's it's always something like it's always like, well, you got to do this or you got to do this and. You know, and, and, and it never really works. And this course is more of a religious type thing. And that kind of plays a little bit into making it better than, than just a your run of the mill haunted house type business. But it's still got some questionable things in it. But it's worth watching. Uh, if you're into the soundtrack, this is definitely the version you're going to want to get from Severn. I, uh, I don't remember much about the old version from Screen Factory, but I feel like the transfer here, if it's not the same transfer, uh, at least looks on par with it. Maybe even a little better. I don't know. But this is Beyond Darkness from Severn. If you like weird stuff, it's definitely weird. <laughs> 